So how far would you go to get silver and gold? Well, I'm with Missouri Mike. How you doing, man? Hey, Yankee. <laughs> you came all the way to Tim's from... Missouri. That is a long, long way. You must really want this stuff, huh? And you want to get it from this guy, right? I just uh, am afraid it's going to be unobtainable soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's already getting more difficult. And uh, It's true, isn't it? It is. And um, wherever I see it, I buy it. This is what I got. That's, you got that from your wholesaler? No, nope, we got that from a customer. Oh, this is the wholesalers? Uh, this actually came from a customer. Man, so people are coming in here and selling this stuff. Yeah, if they uh, need money for some other purpose. And I, I think yeah. there's some real estate deals that are uh, hitting the market now. We had a time where all the houses in this area skyrocketed in value. But um, that's coming to a close okay. because there are more and more people are having trouble recovering from shutdowns. And um, you get uh, one of those bars there. Yeah. Um, and as they recover, you know, they've got bills to pay. Yeah. And uh, they do the currency. people realize yeah. a long time ago they can't live off the government. 1% goes to, uh, you know, COVID uh, vaccinations and stuff. 9% mm -hmm. goes to the people who need it. Mm -hmm. And the rest is pork. You know, from I agree. I'm $2 very $2 trillion dollars of pork. And now they have an, an infrastructure bill, which is n no help to anybody anybody at all. I mean, there are people who, uh, whose businesses are gone forever. Um, mm. You know, just two of the restaurants that I used to eat at, eat at uh, on South of Willow Street are mm -hmm. gone. I mean, they're never coming back. And that's why people are, you know, they're selling some of their, mm -hmm. whatever they need to, to raise the cash for. Mm -hmm. I bought um, some more one ounce bars today. Ooh, uh, are these 21s? Those are all 21s. They're in, they're, Sell the 21, so. Because he didn't have any back dates. That tells you something, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's buying what they can get their hands on. Back dates are. I'm going to have to put that over here. <laughs> Just over here. What do you think, Missouri Mike? Yeah. <laughs> did I've, you, got, I've got mine. Did you buy yours? What yeah, did you there, buy? There's mine. Oh, four American Silver Eagle tubes, one Canadian Maple Leaf tube, and what is that? There's some gold, Yankee. You bought five one ounce. Canadian maple leaves? Yes, sir. Well done. No wonder you came all the way over here from Missouri. <laughs> is this is this the furthest you've seen someone drive to your shop? Um, Be honest. Well, you can tell me if this is a customer who was up here visiting family from Florida. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so that was yes. to visit family. Because <laughs> that's probably even farther than Florida, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think I, I think 1,500 miles might be this part of Florida. How far is that? Well, this 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 was a this was a truck route. So the boss paid for part of this. Oh, okay. Transportation costs. So you piggybacked the trip to Tim's yeah. on we, that. We okay, actually cool. backed the truck up to uh, <laughs> Tim Marshner's coin and stamp shop in Manchester, New Hampshire. You did? Where? Where is that? Where's that truck? Well, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> okay, we, we, we uh, backed the truck we, we up. We backed the truck up. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, I was about to say, <laughs> yep. these uh, one-ounce bars, which are not being made, uh, this is part of an order I placed over two months ago. 200 pieces, and then there are only 80 here. Oh and I had goodness. to wait two months to get them. That's, the, that's how bad it is. And uh, I said, well, when are you going to get the rest of my order? And he said, we may not get it. He said it's uh, they're not even making them, um, and that's this is the, the probably the best of the one ounce bars. They're highly mint and sure. they're, um, yeah, yeah. they're very well made, I got, yeah. very high quality, and they're packaged properly. Everything here is for sale. Everything is for sale. Man, you do have a lot. You had a full monster box here, right? Yes. With some back dates. Yeah. Right. It's all and, back dates. But it's been already rated by Mike. <laughs> is that it oh wow and we know yankee doesn't want these if you watch this latest video yeah i think i'm gonna pass on the bars but do you have anything else that's really kind of well there's some there's some 10 ounce bars here which oh. always go very quickly yeah they do go fast and, don't they? Uh, i had 24 
uh, mm. last week, at the end of last week, and down to two. That is I pretty think. cool. Yeah, Got two admit, right man. from the 24. Isn't it? Isn't it? Come on, Mike. Come on. Doesn't have American Silver Eagle on it. I know it's that. It's the wrong shape, Yankee. It's, it's, with, it's a rectangle. It's not a... With curved edges. It's not It's not a round that's not round. Flip it over, come, Mike. Come on, Yankee. It's a flag. You gotta love that, right? I love the flag. I know. I actually do have a one-ounce flag. Bar, Say, but, I would like to auction that. Oh. Oh. Well, that's cool. Oh, that is awesome. You break those off? The Valcambi, yeah. Uh, you I've can. never seen anybody. But you could. I was going to ask you. Has anybody... one guy break him up? And <laughs> I'm not sure why he did that. Just to I see would, if... I wouldn't be able to break it up. Really? Oh, I wonder if anybody in the of community them. would. A hundred of them. I can auction this off. This is pretty cool. Thank you, Tim. Uh, I will do that on one of my live streams. Ooh, cool. I'm also eyeing that gold there. I'm just saying. No buffaloes, no Tim. Yeah. Buffaloes are all of a sudden hard to get a hold of, and I'm not really sure what the deal is. Mm -hmm. I don't think the U.S. Mint is making a lot of buffaloes. I think they're having trouble meeting the uh, demand for gold eagles. And um, we haven't seen many of those. I mm -hmm. mean, I've, I've had 2021s come in, but it's been very few. He knows what I'm after, Mike. I'm trying to get gold from all these mints. Around the world, yeah. Really? So I, I've, I've got so my drawn to the gold. He already has these two mints. I know. <laughs> You've got the Cougaran, don't you? I got the Cougaran. Okay. I have a Britannia those. headed my way, but I need him to help me out in a couple other places. So yeah, maybe yeah, a couple of these bars we'll are see. Britannia bars. Yes, those are pretty. Yeah. Yes, and I'm not saying silver bars aren't beautiful. And I, in my last video, like you said, Mike, I did talk about how incredible it is to hold a big kilo bar in my hand. Another Ooh. New Hampshire, <gasps> probably the dullest looking. Is this a New Hampshire? It's a New Hampshire, American. American beautiful. beautiful. Oh boy. Tempting, tempting. I might have to grab this just because it's New Hampshire. I know. How it's much a, is it? It's a silver ice cream cone oh. type of thing for me, so. I'll go back to the regular stuff, but that is pretty cool. How heavy is it? It's five, five ounces. ounces five yeah. ounces. Yeah. Just doesn't trip my trigger. Okay. I, I, like, I, 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 I like, know. I, like I know. The, there's something about it. You're I, preaching to the choir, I, dude. I, I think. I think it's Yankee's fault. I've oh been, no! I've been. I've, Are you stacking the Yankee way? That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh no! What have I done? For what about? Uh, that's great. Less than a year. Real variety of rounds. Again. Oh, okay. So there might be some. Ooh, there might be some things in here that the community would be interested. In. I'm gonna. I am gonna pick through that a little bit. Let's we'll see. You know, and the Eagles. Um, it's a good place to put your money. Yeah. I have a question for you when it comes to the demographics of stackers. Have you been seeing over the past, say, say since the pandemic, younger stackers, millennials, younger and more women. That's good. We we definitely want to see more women stackers. I'm encouraged by that too. But younger ones as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. well, that's you know. I, I I asked you last time. Have you seen Wall Street silver? It is exploding, and that is a younger audience. We're talking millennials mostly in there, and they're just eating this stuff up. Physical precious metals. It's growing fast. Yeah, that's um, that's important, but it shows that they have uh, more common sense than the people in Washington who make the rules. <laughs> there are they're the ones going to Washington for us one day, so <laughs> yeah, that's that's encouraging. It, yeah. it feels like we're on we're just on the edge of the precipice. To me, the supply is gone, the the demand is up, the price is up, and. It's just, uh, I wish I would have done this 20 years ago. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's a safe place to put your money, but the, the supply problem is getting greater. And it, you know, you would expect that when the mines start reopening, all the byproduct mines, the silver would be in better supply, but mm. it's, it's not happening. I heard just yesterday that the demand for for monetary silver has just surpassed industrial demand. 
that yes. that should tell everybody out there that something's something's getting yeah. ready to to happen here. When people yeah. flock to secure their their currency and mm -hmm. want to turn it into real money, mm -hmm. now now we're talking an extreme price hike mm -hmm. in what it's going to cost mm -hmm. to uh, to secure your financial future in precious metals. I guess it wasn't the only reason you came from Missouri here, but it was one of the better stops along your way, wasn't it? Yes, it sure was. <laughs> very, very well done, Missouri Mike. Thank you so much for uh, letting me know you're popping in here. And thanks, thanks for showing up. <laughs> and, and thanks, thanks to Tim. And thanks again, Tim. Appreciate it. Wow. Mike is welcome anytime. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> well, how far would you go to get your silver? Well, you don't have to go too far to get some of Tim's silver. This right here was some of the things that he offered up for an upcoming auction on my channel. It's going to be on a future Ask Yankee, and it's going to be open to my members. So you might want to think about membership in my channel. There's a lot of cool rounds and bars here. So let me first show you this. This is the two ounce Aztec round. It's in absolute beautiful condition. And the detail on this is amazing, especially the two ounce version. You can really see it clearly. That's a beautiful round. And then, oh, let's jump into the middle one here. This one is an iconic round. This is the Freedom Girl. It comes to us from Silver Shield. It's the 2016 version. So that is a highly desirable round a lot of people like. Another one is this one. That is a Don't Tread on Me round, and it also comes from Silver Shield. This is a 2019 version. It's one Troy ounce. I, I happen to be partial to the Don't Tread on Me, and this one is just lit. I mean, look at that rattler ready to strike. Oof, love it. Um, speaking of Don't Tread on Me, I had to pick this one up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Live, free, or die. I'm having a hard time with giving this one up because that is New Hampshire's state motto. And this one is a chunky two-ounce silver round. It's high relief, too. I mean, you can't really see it, but this is like a, a, a concave um, uh, obverse. And on the reverse, you can see it's two troy ounces. It's from the Intaglio Mint. So if you've ever gotten anything from uh, the Intaglio Mint, you know how incredibly beautiful their uh, silver rounds are. So let's put that there. We got some native Indian rounds. This one is a one ounce piece. There you can see one ounce fine silver. Then we jump up to the two ounce piece. Okay. And that has the beautiful eagle on the back. And then to round out that series, the five ounce piece of silver. These are, again, all offered up by Tim to uh, auction off on a future Ask Yankee. Let me just show you what started the whole craziness with him. The Valcambi Suisse Combi Bar. Now, I don't know if anybody actually breaks these up, but this is a pretty cool idea. I know it's been around. It's nothing new. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can see this from a, a prepper standpoint. could be quite useful. So there you have it. These are the rounds that I'm going to be auctioning off. Definitely uh, consider becoming a member of Yankees Militia. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.